Hi, so I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to this valuable free resource that you can use in your online learning environment, which is a type of distance learning because you're separated from your students physically. So strictly online learning, or you can um, use this in a blended type classroom uh, when you're teaching and then you have one the students to do an outside assignment, you can um, assign this as well. So what are data nuggets? Um, they are research-based articles and data that is available for you to analyze or your students to analyze in assignments. Uh, we're going to focus on level four, which is advanced high school students and college undergrad, because we're looking at a higher level. You wouldn't want to use this resource for, of course, a graduate um, in hopes if it's a science course, they are actually using their own um, research. So I'm going to find a data nugget and I chose this because there's such an increase in the demand of STEM type activities, um, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, employers are looking for these skills that these students need. Plus, this is engaging activities that you can do in your online classroom, which is very important in your planning um, and design of your classroom. You don't want to give them strictly lecture um, or readings. You want them actually uh, involved in the class. So I'm going to hit climate change because also it needs to be relevant in your planning and coral bleaching. And what we get here is some activities over here. I'm going to focus on the type C, which is the higher level. And what you get here is an article. And I want to, and I want to point out that this is all relevant research put out that scientists have actually done. Beautiful graphics involved in this, some great scientific data. And then the students are to graph and then analyze the information using the CER method, which is claim, evidence, and reasoning. Very higher level critical thinking skills. You have a grading rubric that you can give them to see where they'll be assessed. And then a teacher's guide is available, uh, but you have to prove that you're an instructor or a teacher to get to have access to this. We've come a very long way. Um, from correspondence type learning or distance learning and from the 1900s where teachers just write syllabus, send it to a student, they do the assignment, mail it back and get absolutely no feedback. Now students are able to um, interact with their professors, they collaborate with students through webinars and all these different types of um, platforms and this is just another additional resource that you can use in your online class.